Hi, Rubians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to episode 10 of The Lion's Aurora in our Crusader Kings 3 series. Yes, this is already episode 10, and in the last episode, we became the Duke of Holland. Now, we are 46 years old, and we're feeling fine. Our heir, our main heir, is uh, 14, so thankfully he's almost an adult, so that's good. And I'm planning on not losing this uh, this guy this time. We do have a second heir who is uh, the heir to the Duchy of Frisia, which the game will uh, thus create for us in the county of Ostfriesland and Dukham. But we, as I said, we could change our capital to one of these, and then our main heir would get that title as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, and it would just mean that, that this this little boy would not get the one of the counties, I think. But he would still be the duke, so it wouldn't it wouldn't be the best thing. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's you know, this is this is how um how it works in the world, so it's fine. Now we still don't have any vassals. I've got some I, I received some tips from you, you know, telling me you can change the um your vassals contracts using hooks. I know that, <laughs> but I don't have any vassals. So <laughs> I, I I can't really uh I can't really do anything. But I am planning on uh basically blackmailing everybody I can for a hook. And then uh, getting money. So I think I'm going to start by doing that. I'll unpause the game. Oh, my glory is widely known. What? Whoa. I just got... Wah, fun. Okay. Um, good. I gained a level of fame. So that's incredible. While performing her duties as my spy master, Gwenwyn has uncovered a secret. Oh, <laughs> good. More money. By Countess Clara of Zurich. The ways in which she seeks pleasure is revolting for any decent woman to even think of. And yet she is not merely willing, but eager. It feels so unnatural and sickening. No, it is unnatural and sickening. An offense against God. Servant, fetch me a bucket before I... Okay, what, 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 what do you... What do you do? What, what is your... Deviant... Deviant. What does it mean in practice? We don't know. Maybe she likes chickens? <laughs> she has no husband. She Maybe she likes one-eyed people? I don't know. But uh, there's something wrong with her, apparently. Is it her bus- her, her husband. Her husband was slain in battle, so it's nothing uh, very interesting. Okay. Not much we can do here. Not much we can do here. Well, good. Anyway, uh, just another more, just another person to blackmail. 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 Oh, whether ooh, blackmail refused. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Should I? Should I just be mean, or or should I? What does it mean? Uh, should I expose his secret? He will hate me forever. Do I care? He's a fellow vassal. Hmm. Count Astragisel of Geisenhausen. Oh, he does have very high intrigue. Maybe, maybe not try to make him very angry with me. Okay, let's not admit it. Let's not reveal it. Uh, blackmail for a hook. Oh, we already did that. Blackmail. 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 Oh! Another refusal. <laughs> you don't want me to reveal your secret? I will. Your murder secret. There you go. You murderous, murderous person. Hey! Why can't I- Oh, you're commanding an army, right. Demand payment. Pays 50 to me. Good. Money! Money makes the world go round. World go round. World go round. It does. Why can't I get money from you? Is, is that because you're a woman? Oh, she doesn't have enough gold. Oh, okay. So if you can demand payment, they have the gold. Good. Good to know. Can I get money multiple times for a strong hook? 
I don't know. But, um... I'm very happy with this. Plus six. Look at this. Look at this. Demand payment. Oh, he does not have enough gold. He has 45. We'll wait. We'll wait. My son and heir. Do you have money? No. Do you have money? No. Do you have money? Too far away! Oh. Well, that's annoying. Do you have... Oh, no. You're still commanding an army. Okay, we'll look at it again uh, soon. But, for now, we have 206 gold. <laughs> <laughs> so I can I could build a Dutch building in Amsterdam can't I mm, if I oh dear we need an innovation burrs 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 or manorialism okay so um Burrs, burrs, burrs. Oh, basically, we need to be here. Okay. Mm. Manorialism. Burrs. Okay. And this era is not available until 980. Oh, okay, so as soon as we... Oh, we'll be there soon. No, we're still ha we'll, we still have two innovations missing. Hey, hurry up! Plenary assemblies will be here in four years, and we need one more. Dang it. We will go back to Mott's after, I think. But anyway, um, Amsterdam. So no duchy building, that's okay. Um, wait, we have no building here at all. What about Utrecht? We have crop fields here. And then if we look here, nothing. And here we have wooden barracks, okay. Amsterdam, you're, go you're going to become the capital of the world, I'm just saying. So um, what do we want? Walls and towers are pretty good. I mean, this is the capital, and we want it to be defensible so that if we get attacked, you know, we can hold on as long as we can. 0.2 per month, though. But good for fort level and garrison. But maybe we can build that next. Maybe we can do something else that gives us money first. So if we do manor houses, for now we get... Um, 0.7 a month. And if we look at the last level, it would be... Uh, good for supply limit, levy size, and holding taxes, development growth, and control growth. When does that start? Development growth starts at level 3 already with plus 2% a month. Okay. If we look at farms and fields, pl plus 0.5 taxes a month. But we will also then be getting plus 1% at level 2 for the holding. And later on, good for supply limit, levy reinforcement rate... And also development growth, okay. Pastoral lands, good for levies and a little bit for taxes. At the end, very good for, well, very good for levies. 225 won't be that much by then. Right now, I like it, but... Mm -hmm, good for my cavalry performance. Regimental grounds would be good for my levies right now. Good for reinforcement and good for men-at-arms maintenance. In the end, look at these levies. Those are those are good. Those are good. And men at arms maintenance minus 1.6%. This is quite interesting to me right now. Very interesting. So the regimental... It won't give me money, though. That's a thing. And I, I do like money. <laughs> so barracks, levies, and uh, infantry and spearmen damage. Nothing too interesting to me right now. Military camps and levies, and good for my uh, archers and skirmishers. So that is quite interesting, to be honest. Very interesting. And lastly, a trade port. Ooh. Ooh, immediately good. Oh, for development. Oh, and money. Oh, and we are Dutch. We should trade. Should we trade? I think we should trade. We are awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Development growth is good, and a little bit extra tax. You know what? I'm going to go for the trade port. Awesome. Okay. So with that done, we have 71 gold left. <laughs> We're not even too poor. I could have declared, uh, I could have created the Duchy of Frisia, but the game will make it anyway when I die, so why would I? I can demand, ooh, I can demand another payment. Oh yes, but you have 45. Fabricated claim. You know what? I can start to fabricate claims again. If it is a pond for carps you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has very good credentials, and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. 
I can give him all the resources he needs. I will lose 50 gold. He will gain 20 opinion of me. And then what? Magnificent fish pond. All the courtiers will like me. Is that truly the best deal you can give me? I gain 100 stewardship lifestyle experience. Every courtier also gains 20 opinion of me. Um, I could make a great deal and lose just 15 gold. Or <laughs> lose 50 gold and 75 prestige if he outwits me. Or I can say, please stop wasting my time. And then every courtier will lose five opinion of me. And that means my church holdings will stop endorsing me and I'll lose some stress. You know what? I'm going to gamble. Is this really the best deal you can give me? Really? Really? Oh! Oh! I'm terrible! <sighs> Rothbald, you are the worst. But that's okay. We still love you, man. We still love you. Um, I'm still over my... Oh! I'm still over my domain limit. I was thinking of giving away one of my counties, wasn't I? So... Dokkum has three holdings here. So does Oostfriesland. Dokkum is less developed, but does have wooden barracks. Emden has nothing. More taxes in Dokkum. More levies in Dokkum. So I think I'm going to give Oostfriesland away to someone. But now I do have to think very carefully. If I don't give it to my son... It will be out of the family. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. It will weaken the inheritance of my second son. But I don't think that that means that my normal heir would lose... Oh, my normal heir might lose Nedersticht then. Because the game does like to divide titles, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Succession. I'm pretty sure that if I give away Oostfriesland, I think that Nedersticht or Zeeland will go to, I think Nedersticht will go to this boy. Because I don't think Nedersticht's officially part of, yes, it's not officially part of the Duchy of Holland. But it's a good test. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's just see. If if I'm if I'm right, then I'll move my capital to Nederstedt for now. Um. So my first vassal. This is a very very important decision to make. It would make sense to give it to Hugo. And I think Hugo. Do you have a child? Oh, you do. That's too bad. In that case, Hugo, I'm sorry. You're not getting it. I want somebody who has no wife so that maybe upon their death, I will get it back. I'm terrible. So what about Robrecht? Mm, uh, Hieselbert would be better. He's a much younger, so he's probably, you know, going to marry somebody. But he's quick and intelligent, which is good. He's a thrifty clerk. He's just brave and diligent. So I don't think he's going to be bad. He's, he's very good and he likes me. Let's do him. So, Hieselbert. You have been a good boy. You have no spouse, so I hope it stays that way. Um, I, I'm going to grant you the county of Oostfriesland. Yes. I'm going to do it. I will not be his de jure liege until I create the duchy. So that means that his taxes to me will be reduced. But that's okay. Let's do it. Okay, he's now my vassal. Not rightful liege, see? Um, I'm actually making more money now. Ha <laughs> ha! Good! Okay, good. So, if we look at succession... Oh, good. Okay. So, 
Okay, so, so, so my main heir is still getting Nedersticht and Zeeland. Okay, good, good, good. 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, Gerard's educator died. So for the last year of, of, of your uh, childhood, you need a new educator. And because this dude was was quite good at diplomacy. So we need a new new diplomat to educate you. So we will uh, we will find somebody. Not in my court. Hang on. That's not what I want to do. King Odakar, your vassals. Uh, do you have somebody with high diplomacy? Yes, this dude. Count Magnerik of Nassau. Hey, hello. Do you, um... No. Do you want my, my, my boy, Gerard, as your Franconian? That's fine. Because we will not con be converted. Do you want to make sure that he becomes a good boy? Thank you. Very good. So let's see if we can get more money from people. Demand payment? No. Demand payment? No. Demand payment? Yes! Still 45. You know what? I want it. Thank you. You never know, right? You don't You don't want to lose this. And 45 is still very good. Very good. Okay, good. So now I'm back at 77. Uh, yes, you uh, you you keep keep looking for the secrets because I want to know if there's something there. So, what is our next step? I think it is to get another claim on lands. Um, so, if I look at the county of Helders, can I uh, offer you vassalage? But why won't you accept? Okay, well. Um, what is this a good county? Development six. But it's right next to me. Is this part of Sweden? No, it's not. I will, I'll get a de jure claim on this if I create the duchy, so no point in, in doing anything here. You, Count of Zutphen. What is this? Are you good? Six. You're six too. You know what? I'm gonna go. Ooh, King Odokar is being attacked by Countess Eugenia. I'm gonna go for Helders. So. Let's uh, let's continue our. Where are you here? Can you fabricate a claim on this, please? And then, what else do we want to do? We want to. Foreign affairs is fine, and we're collecting taxes. No, we're increasing development. Oh look, my son is of age. Oh ho ho ho! Okay. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Gerard the intricacies of diplomacy. All efforts have come to naught, however. <laughs> Few at any court would be overly impressed by his grasp of etiquette. But at least he does know how to hold his own in polite company. So his intrigue is absolutely terrible. It'll be, it will be horrible to play him, I think, unless he becomes better. Um... His diplomacy is 8, which is pretty poor. He has He actually has no, no redeeming stats really nothing interesting so that's a little uh a little annoying now his betrothed is an evil zealot she'll she'll help him in this uh in this regard but mm, 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 she's sadistic oh i love her let's marry her <laughs> let's let's just let's not uh break the betrothal let's just do it we get no prestige for it, but that's okay. So, my son is now married to a 24-year-old, so he can uh, he can start producing little children uh, immediately. Oh, he has a friend, the Duke of Tyrol. Oh, that is so cute. No, that's that's adorable. That's adorable. Okay, so. My son is married, and... Oh, he now has 11 diplomacy average. That's not bad, but all the rest is very bad. So, let's look at you. Do you still have your... Uh... No, you're, you're two years old. Of course you don't have an educator. Okay. So, we are making a claim on Helders. East Francia is still alive. Lotharingia is still alive. I don't know how that's possible. Oh, they're back at 1,300 troops. That's why. West Francia... Doing well, King Louis the Stammerer. 
What else do we have here that is of interest? How are you doing, Bavaria? No, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's probably Sweden we should really be worried about. What happened to her? Oh, you had the plague. Oh. And you're what? Your son didn't? Okay. And they are actually not that strong. They are not that strong. So we we have a chance. We have a chance at uh, surviving here, which is good. Now, how... Um... Oh, you have a liege. The Jarl of... Vestland. With only 500 troops. So we could potentially wage war for Maastricht. We could we could attack this guy. Holy war for the county. We could do that. We would get all territory within yes, the realm that is part of the county, yes. Blah blah blah. Yes. We could do that. Hmm, why not? Uh, let's see. Somebody's trying to kill. S oh, okay, fine. Oh, <gasps> murder secret! Murder secret! Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I get money for this? Where's that Duke? Blackmail for Hulk. Where is he? Where is you? Here. <laughs> oh, before you die. Before you die. I'm gonna blackmail you. And you're gonna give me money. Oh, yes. Come on. Give me money. Give me money! Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good. So. <laughs> I am terrible. I am absolutely terrible. Um, what I want to do, 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 do is declare war on Maastricht. And I want the holy war for the county. And uh, do you have allies? I think we'll be fine. We have so many troops. It could be. Let's just do it. Let's see. Declare a holy war. You cannot afford the cost of this war. Oh. Oh. I will lo lose a level of devotion, which will make me a sinner. Why? I'm trying to be a devout Christian. Why are you stopping me, game? Fine. I won't do it then. So then, in that case, I want to build another building, but I can't because we're already constructing a building. Oh, hello. Uh, somebody likes me. Whatever. Um, okay, that's a little annoying. So apparently you can't construct two buildings in one, one, one county. Um, however, we could construct something in Nederstecht if we want. That's a good, good development county. So, um, let me see. Uh, oh, I don't want my son to die. He's a commander, apparently. No, 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 no. Um, I want... I want, I want, I want. Mm, what is it I want? Maybe military camps. I do like the military camps. Let's do it. Let's construct the military camps. And then I want to make sure that my son is actually not a knight. I'm sorry. I'm gonna forbid this. I do need more knights. So, invite knights. Invite knights. Send the herald. Do I want to lose prestige for this? Probably not. Probably not. Um, how do? How else can I get knights? I can invite them from abroad, of course. I mean, I could. I could. I could. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oops. Let's just try this. Let's let's see what happens. Send the herald. Maybe we'll get good people. 
You never know, right? You never know. So, um, we have... Oh, we have increased development in Amsterdam. It's now... Oh, it's eight. That's pretty good. So I think we can change... Should we go back to... No, I think we do need to keep increasing development here. We really need Amsterdam to be at the top. So we have a... We have a Knigget. He's pretty good. So we could... We could recruit him to court. That... Forty! <sighs> You're 23. Okay, fine. Fine. I do need knights, so... Fine. To my vassal. Ooh! I have become chancellor! Except... Look at that. That's good for me, because if you look here... Let just cancel. I now have plus two prestige per month, fellow vassal opinion plus 15, monthly diplomacy, lifestyle experience plus 15%, which is useless to me because I don't have that that uh, lifestyle. But this is good. This is good. So I'm, I'm becoming an important man. I mean, I always was, of course. I always was. Now, did you get a child yet? No. Hello, hurry up. Do you know how it works, boy? Did I, did I ever explain it to him? Maybe I didn't. I hope he knows how it works. Oh, 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 we have another secret. Yes, this is a little bit gamey, isn't it? Blackmail for a hook. Nope, blackmail refused. Hmm. You're a guest. Oh, yes. Expose. Aha! Aha! I am so bad. Oh, we constructed a small harbor. But I do like getting money for all these things. I really, really like to get money. I love money. You know. I love, love money. You know, this guy, we should just forget about him, I think. But anyway, uh, we have another knight. 39. You're a little bit old, man. You're a little, tiny little bit old. Tiny bit old. Maybe we'll get another one. But I do have a very... My counselor died. I have a new bishop. Do you like me? Oh, <gasps> You don't like me. Amar, where are you from? France? Ooh. Why? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm gonna have to sway this man. Fine. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, he doesn't like me. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, um... Oh, but hang on. This is the Bishop of Holland now. He needs to endorse me. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Do you want to be a court physician? You do. You do. Trust me, you do. Yes, you like me. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I've been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. So we can uh, prosper from the herd and get... Oh, development growth for 10% a month, County of Holland. Good. It's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. It's a stewardship challenge. 75%, 72% chance that it is successful. It will be 15 years, a large cattle herd plus 20% or plus 10 or the hides will turn a nice profit bring the cleaver plus 50 gold 72% chance I've been very unlucky in this game so far so at some point you're gonna have to get lucky right yes good so with that successful breeding project I am going to stop the episode here in the next one this is a problem. Oh, I was looking at the wrong guy. Are you serious? Sway this guy. <sighs> okay, sigh. In 59 days, we will have a claim on the county of Helders. So that means in the next episode, we are going to war. Which is awesome. And, um... Yes. We are still expanding. And uh, I hope that uh, we will continue to do so. What can I say? Things are looking good, and um, our man is 49 years old. 
So I don't know how long he has left in this uh, world, but we'll see. At least our son is now 17, so that's good. He's uh, he's, he's a grown man, and uh, our other boy is uh, four. So we have two options here for the uh, inheritance. So I'm, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm happy. So, anyway. In the next episode, we will expand our realm further, I hope. And uh, see what happens next. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in this series come out about every other day at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.